<laughs> Hello, you horror freaks out there. This is The Strange Monkey. Welcome to my very first horror movie review of The Strangers Pray at Night. The Strangers Pray at Night. It's directed by Johan Roberts. I hope I'm saying that right. And it stars Christina Hendricks, Martin Henderson, Bailey Madison, and Lewis Pullman. It is the sequel to the 2008 film, The Strangers. It's about this family that's on their way to visit their aunt and uncle in a trailer park that's deserted. After that, they're going to send their daughter to boarding school because she's been misbehaving. Shame on you, young lady. Shame on you. You are disappointing your parents. Anyways, as all that's going on, they are unaware that the strangers are nearby. They don't know what the hell's going on. They are lurking, lurking, lurking. And coming for you! Ah! So let's get right down to it. Is this movie perfect? No. Is it worth watching? Absolutely it is worth watching. And for those of you who are saying that it's dog shit, that it's horrible, that you shouldn't watch it or anything like that, a sequel should have been made, you're wrong! Wrong, 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 wrong! You are wrong! This film takes a different approach compared to the first one, which was more of a home invasion film. This one is more of a throwback to the late 70s, 80s slasher films. Is there anything wrong with that? Fuck no. The acting was alright. Wasn't too bad. The individuals that played the strangers, perfect! Especially the leader. The way he just looks at you. The way he just walks around with those eyes. It's fucking ridiculous. The camera use in this film, the shots that they did with the up-close zooming in when it needed to, the lighting in this film, perfect when it needed to be. What I like about these three individuals is that you don't know anything about them. And that's perfect. That's how it should be. You don't need to know shit. I like that. Keep the mystery alive. Because you were home. One of my favorite scenes in particular is when Luke, the, uh, the son, runs out to the pool area and all of a sudden, these uh, palm tree neon light things start lighting up. You hear Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse of the Heart in the background. And the, uh, the leader comes out with his axe and starts swinging violently at this guy. And shit gets crazy. He's chasing him in the pool. It's just, and that's not a spoiler because it was in the trailer. Anyway, um, this film is not perfect. We all know that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be honest. And for those of you complaining that they do things in this film, lots of cliches, but come on guys, we've seen this over and over again in lots of horror movies. Some of us horror fans appreciate what they were trying to do in this film. And like I said, it's a throwback to, you know, the classic shit. They even pay homage to John Carpenter's Halloween, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, stuff like that in my opinion. Maybe some Friday the 13th stuff thrown in there. I don't know, you'll have to see it. So here is my verdict. I'm going to give this film a solid 8 out of 10. Rock hard. All up in there. Ah, sounds a little weird. I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, all that good stuff. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a good fright. See you next time.